Hello everyone, Nilta here again. Back to you from Melbourne for another sound demo by request. Uh, today I got something very special, something very unique actually. It's um, in 40 years of collecting, this is the only one I found. It's a Masao Koga classical guitar, concert mm -hmm. guitar, model 400. It's the highest I've ever seen. Uh, in terms of, of models, you may be able to find, if you're lucky enough to find a uh, model 85, Masao uh, Koga model 85. Sometimes, if you're lucky enough, you can find one model 100. But this one here is a model 400, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's an amazing guitar. It's probably one of the very best I have. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't want to let it go, but you know, Sometimes uh, it's good to pass it on. Um, and I was actually today, I wasn't going to do um, some demo because um, uh, it's been a long day and I'll be tired. So my hands are cramping up, they are stiffing up, I can't move them. And then I thought, why not just do it? Just show them who you truly are. And most of them are musicians anyway, they're all classical guitarists or guitarists and they know what it feels like, how it feels like to be playing the music when you're tired, when you're, you're not thinking clearly. You know, when you come home late at night after a gig at 3 a.m., sit down with there and you grab this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful classical guitar and it's got a nice and gentle but beautiful tone and you start to, you know, to play something along just to relax a bit. Uh, so that's what I'll be doing a bit today. Um, again, uh, remembering to give all the specs, as much specs as I can. Uh, uh, some background of Masao Koga. Masao Koga was a Japanese musician, a Japanese composer, and uh, an actor. Uh, he was born, I believe, in 1904. And he was the very first president of the Japanese Composer Association. Actually, he was the president forever. <laughs> he died from 1954 all the way to 1978. Now, this beautiful guitar was made four years before he passed away. So it's probably one of the last one, or maybe the last one. I don't want to sell it now. <laughs> Saying that. Oh, so beautiful. Um, yeah, so. Masao Koga, uh, model 400, and there's this signature in there, and there's a stamp, one of those square Japanese stamps which you ink with your blood. <laughs> no, just kidding. With uh, red wax and then stamp in there. Um, solid spruce top. The back here is Brazilian rosewood. Now, some people have asked, messaged me and asked, can you guarantee it's Brazilian rosewood? Well, the only person who can guarantee is the person who chopped the wood down, the tree down, who sold it to the um, supplier, who then sold it to the luthier, who then made a the guitar. <laughs> but I cannot guarantee whether it's real Brazilian wood or Indian wood, okay? It's like, it's like when you go and buy a car, you, know, you buy a, like a, a Vista Dan, and the specifications say the engine is 1.8 liters. And this guy ring up and say, can you guarantee, ring up the, the, the seller, the vendor said, can you guarantee it's 1.8 liters? And the vendor said, I didn't make the, the car. Whatever the specs say, you know, whatever they say in the books, is what I fit to you. So I repeat, this is Brazilian rosewood, uh, as composed, opposed to Indian rosewood. Okay, actually, that's a good comparison. Now, this is Indian rosewood which is lighter and a bit purple, purple color. And Brazilian rose is darker, brown or blacker. Yeah, see, so Indian and Brazilian. Now, let's see. this one here is a certi the next one is a certified, certified <laughs> Brazilian rosewood. Okay, so this is certified Brazilian rosewood, solid rosewood. Brazilian rosewood. This is certified Indian rosewood. Okay, so hopefully you can see the difference. 
yeah so to me the masao koga looks more like to this this one here okay it's more similar to the certified brazilian rosewood see actually this looks actually the masao koga looks nicer than the this, this one here which is all solid um, brazilian rosewood certified by the luthier so going back to the material you know some people are, are stuck to believing that the Brazilian rose is better than Indian and so on and there's been tests done this and this and that but can you actually hear a difference you know there's much more to the guitar than just the material the wood and uh, you give a bad guitar a crappy guitar to a good guitarist and he make it some nice and what you just give him a, a piece of wood without <laughs> String and we make it some nice. So the the material is not everything. It's um, it's the musician, but also it's very important. It's the preview owners who shape the guitar. Now this is very high level. When um, professional guitarists, concert guitarists, go and buy a guitar or second hand guitar. Most most of them buy second hand guitars because for reasons that you But nobody ask the vendor how has this guitar been shaped. In other words, who was the previous owner and what kind of music and how do you play? That has an impact on the guitar itself, the fibers. We believe that the fibers being organic, uh, the top and the whole guitar actually um, responds to the way we play. So if we play certain kind of music, over time it develops, it matures. To make the kind of music sound better so the question we ask to you is one that comes to, someone comes to you professional guitarist come to you and say how has it been shaped or how have you shaped the guitar you know what he means yeah because they believe it's like this is an organic biological <laughs> ex biological is that no no actually it's still alive piece of wood and this fibers here and between the type of this softer fibers and all that is kept together by the tree sap which keep everything together and with the moving and rubbing it becomes softer and it, it, the here it, it, it contours to the shape of the music it's like it's like wearing an old pair of jeans or old pair of shoes compared compared to a brand new pair of jeans or a brand new pair of shoes that's what it means by shaping okay so the guitar has been shaped beautifully and it's an amazing condition. You can see, I'm going to try the reflection for you. See, beautiful. No marks, no marking. Some hairline marks. Is the moment you do this, you might get some marks, you know. But amazing condition. Look, no scratch, nothing at all. Again, keep in mind this is 1974, so it's 47 years old. So I expect some dust or something on it okay so all very very beautiful um so solid spruce stop brazilian roast wood back in sides um mahogany neck um that's uh, is it that's ebony ebony fretboard uh and let me just create this dust here the here okay and uh, uh, nine, not nice machine head, so it's got a piece of blue tech here to, to mark the, 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 the seven fret. Sometimes, sometimes we have pieces of happen. The professional guitars are not marked, there's no sign. So sometimes, you know, just to avoid making mistakes, you put a sticky tape or something there, dot on the seven fret order. In this case, previously I just did it, I just put a not the blue tech there, it's like keep coming off, keep putting back this blue tech, take it off. Okay. Um let's get the same as guitar. Um just beautiful. Just look at my photo in my on my website, you know, it tells a thousand words. Uh what else can I say about it? Just lovely, 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 lovely. The uh, the um, the saddle and the nut are real bone nut, very solid. I carved it myself, I made it myself, customized. And the action, actually my action now, being a performance guitar, concert guitar, what I do for my customers is that, and for myself, is the standard 
action on a, the, the um, classic guitar is here on the first string a 12 fret is three millimeters while on a six string is three and a half okay that's the beautiful ratio you get nice clear tone beautiful tone without buzzing yeah now this being a concert guitar I tweaked it a bit so I lowered this first string here to in here instead of 3 mil, I load it to 2.75 millimeters so you can play fast. Okay, and here on the bass, I raised it from 3.5 to 3.6. Okay, so that it has a bit more clearance, it's loud and bright without buzzing. Okay, so. you want without buzzing because look without buzzing is uh, everything has got a limit okay no matter how how high you put a string and you press high enough it will buzz everything has a limit yeah, like gee I'm talking a lot today <laughs> okay so like I remember 34 years ago when I first came to Australia right I had to go for my driver's license the theory part of it so um, I, I didn't know much English it came straight from Italy so I went to the to the RTA and said okay I'm listening for the for the for the exam so okay go there sit there and yeah, let me come talk to you so okay so what um, exam paper would you like uh, Vietnamese that's my name or English I said can I have the Italian one please I said what the Italian one <laughs> So yes, if you give me Vietnamese one, I fell for sure. <laughs> if you give me the English one, maybe I pass, because I don't know much English back then. It came straight from, from Italy. But if you give me the Italian one, I'm sure I pass. And guess what? <laughs> I got 100% correct. Everything right. And one of the, one of the interesting um, questions in it was, uh, when, 34 years ago, okay, let me try to remember. <laughs> and translate it back to English when are drivers likely to have an accident and it was multiple choice of four and I can't remember what the multiple choice four except for one okay so I'm gonna make up the other three okay so A is it when the driver is drunk B is it when the road is wet C is it when your f girlfriend is talking to you <laughs> and uh, D is it when the driver push the car beyond its limits? Right? Beyond its limits. So, guess which one it is? The last one, which is a driver more like drivers are more likely to have an accident when they push the car beyond the limits of the car. If you go too fast, you can't break in time. If you're too fast around a curve, you're gonna top and roll, etc. So, same with the guitar, if you push it beyond its limit, then it will bar. So, this is better. But if you line up, it's, it's time to bounce no matter what. It's just physics, okay? So, Get a hammer, smash it with bass for sure. Okay. okay, let's get to some demo. Excuse me, today I'm talking a lot. Okay, here we go. Hmm, um, what can I do? So, normally when I get home from a gig or something, guitar, just pick the guitar, just play whatever. Like, imagine, this is me. <laughs> normally I would have a glass of red wine too. <laughs> Not this, but one of scotch on the rocks. Okay, so. Um,
yeah, so this the uh, Masao Koga Model 400 is, I can say, it's beautiful. It's just it responds to every nuance and every touch. You have the warm tone, bright tone, sweet, gentle, whatever. Masao Koga, he was the founder or the inventor of um, Japanese post-war music uh, called Enka, E-N-K-A. E and yes, just uh, Google it. I'm not going to YouTube, have a look at uh, Enka music and it's like all those beautiful sentimental love songs, you know, it's just simple chords but beautiful. Just no, so this guitar is perfect for that, perfect love song. Okay, let's do some um, specs, um, some test, some demo for you. Okay, so I was mentioning the warm tone. Same thing without moving my hands over here. Without moving, so hands to here over the hole. I can get actually, I do this very often. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand here. Notice the hand, I'm not moving the hand, okay, and see how this guitar will respond to different tone from warm to medium to tacky, sharp, and bright. Okay, let's start with something warm. Um, Something bright. My hands are here. No, no, what's the It's so beautiful. So down here, you can do fast passages because the action is low. Okay, so something like, maybe you can think of something. Excuse the mistakes too. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Start from here, and I can do uh, something like you may think uh, something on bass, uh. and then it goes. Uh, I forgot it. Got enough. So. Thank you. 
Beautiful guitar. Just so beautiful. Try to wrap off some of the sticky tape. Not sticky tape. <laughs> so the the um, blue tack is stuck here. Okay. Now, what I was gonna say about it's just beautiful. Did you get it? It's gonna keep you company in the evening. Masao Koga, number 400. Check my website for more details. Please give us a like uh, and subscribe. And actually, I just learned something. Hit the bell too, so you get the notification from me when I do a new video. Um, as I told you many times, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just doing it to showcase my guitar and show my customer how the guitar sounds like before they make uh, the decision of buying it. Uh, any questions, send me a message in the comment section below okay so wish you all the very best i hope you enjoy the demo <laughs> cheers